High growing demand is hurting Grace Place Ministries. Over the last few months, the number of their clients needing help has doubled, and now that's depleting their donations. Jessica Torricelli tells us what they need most. Right now, we're just very limited on what we can give to people. Grace Place Ministries in Monroe is seeing their client list double. I mean, we probably right now are feeding anywhere between 250 to 300 people every day. It's a little disappointing, you know, to tell them, I'm sorry, we don't have that this month. From the food pantry to the clothing closet, their donations are depleted. Donald Sloan Sr. is one of those clients who came in looking for deodorant, but the closet was out. I come here when I don't have it because I don't want to go by nobody, you know, stinking because that ain't the way I was brought up. Grace Place director Misty Lowe says their supply of hygiene items is the lowest it's been in a while and that's something their clients desperately need. Just people being able to feel clean and people being able to feel you know healthy. We're, we're worried about their health especially a lot of our unhoused population that we serve. You know we want them to feel clean to where if they want to go get help that they're not that's not going to be a barrier for them. Another barrier for people is the cost. The main reasons we do ask for that is because um, like their SNAP cards, food stamp cards, doesn't cover that. It doesn't cover um, hygiene products. Calligan says feminine hygiene products are also another huge need. It's important for the community to come together and donate those kind of items, shampoo, deodorant, um, razors. Oh, razors. Um, a lot of them need razors. And when it comes to the clothing closet, she says men's items are what they need most. But more importantly, compassion and a moment of your time makes the biggest difference. It's, it's nice to see them walk out with a smile on their face because a lot of them come in and they're, you know, they're down or depressed or something, you know, and all it takes is one word like, hi. It's a safe place and, and you can go meet people, mingle with them, you know, communicate. And they have no problem. Grace Place can also accept furniture and household items. You can drop things off at their location on Jackson Street.